Hi all, welcome to my channel. Today I am really, really, really excited to present you with the tool which I have prepared based out of Excel. Uh, why I am really excited? There are so many reasons. So I have been working on this kind of a tool for last two years. I have prepared so many variants, so many varieties uh, in the same Excel, of course. But still, this is the sophisticated and uh, it has like um, uh, you know I should say so dynamic so sophisticated there is no rework involved every time all the 12 years I should say in every version there was at least some or other some kind of a manual intervention was there but this is fully dynamic and uh, no um, almost nothing is needed it is so dynamic even the you know, I, I'll, I'll, I'll talk more in while, uh, you know, while we are going through the details. But to, to tell you what this is, is to compare two files. So, for example, I have two tables of data. For example, there are like uh, you know, 100 rows here and then you know, 200 rows here. I want to compare cell by cell. It's not like just for full, by, full file by full file, but it's just cell by cell in the Excel. And I want to see the data visually, which exact data has been changed. So, uh, so I am really excited to present you this. I hope you, um, you know, you also love it. And I just want to mention one more point. With this tool, using this tool in so many different projects, I have saved hundreds of hours uh, for you know overall project and for myself as well. So it can be used at the time of development, at the time of testing, uh, you know, uh, debugging uh, any issues at the time of maintenance as well. Okay, I hope you also use this, uh, use this tool and enhance your life a lot. Okay, let's get started. This is the article for the video. I have given the URL in the video description. And you can use this URL to download the tool and sample data. And you can see the instructions. Uh, if you want to follow along, please download the file and you can follow along. So this is the sample data we are going to compare uh, using our tool. First, I'll introduce you with the sample data and then I'll show you the tool itself. Okay, so. Uh, let's just say we have uh, an organization, uh, you know, the employee information is there. It is employee ID, name, address, business title, and annual salary. I have taken very small data set, just very, you know, 20 rows uh, for demonstration purposes. But in real world, we'll have, you know, at least tens of columns, like 20, 30 columns, and then thousands of rows. So, uh, and I have taken the data, let's just say, this is the data as of January 1st and this is the data as of February 1st. And what I did is I have deleted some of the rows. Okay, if you see here, this employee ID has been deleted here. And some of the employees are added. And for those existing employees, for few of the rows, I have increased the salary. And for few of the rows, I have decreased the salary. I have not identified appropriately. So for some, I have increased the salary. Um, you know, for some address change, I have for some, uh, I've changed the business title. Oh, sorry, in this place, I have changed the business title for some decrease the salary. Okay, so how to identify these changes? Uh, dynamically using our tool is what I'm going to demonstrate. So this is the tool. Uh, this is a, this is a tool. We have to populate in the setup before and after data, and all the rest of the four tabs will use use to analyze the data. Okay. So first of all, we have to populate the columns. So I'm copying the columns and go to the setup and populate here transpose so we have only five columns so we'll populate here and then we'll leave the rest of the columns as this okay then next we'll populate the before and after so we'll copy the data 
excluding the header only the data and we'll populate from b2 onwards we are not populating from b1 but b2 onwards so in this case we have to in the column a we have to populate the key so in this case this is a unique key employee is a unique key um, but if we have a uh, multiple columns to be used as a unique key let's just say employee and dependent information employee id itself may not be the key right so at that case uh, you have to give concatenate and then another column whatever the column you want to use it as a key but in this case this employee id itself is a unique key so i don't want to change anything here okay but uh, at the same time this 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 column is um, designed such a way that if there are any duplicate values it will highlight so let's just say i'm changing the data to 1007 see here it is highlighting so if there are any duplicate data it, this tool won't work properly you have to make sure the column a is completely unique okay in the same way we are going to populate the after data I copy the data go to the after tab from b2 onwards populated and a1 is i mean column a is already populated so our setup is done all we have to do is go to the data and refresh so you have to look at the left bottom corner the the tool will uh, calculate if you look at this uh, the glow it is running and once this is are done then uh, you can go and analyze these these tabs so it is still running data is being updated so let's give it a you know 10 more seconds it should be done in 10 seconds yeah it's done now go to the count so what does this count tell you is um, if you have how many rows added so i told you we have added few rows we have removed the few rows right so let's see how many rows were added if you also six rows are added right so this tool is saying there are six rows added and uh, how many rows are deleted three rows are deleted and for those rows uh, you know the, the data is updated what are all the columns we have updated and what is the count so annual salary is updated for four employees business title is changed for two employees and address is changed only for one employee so let's see is that the case yeah for four employees we updated the annual salary two employees we have changed the business title one employee we have uh, changed the address and no one we have not changed employee name for anyone okay so that's the um a thing so let's just you know for for testing purposes, let's just update the name and let's rerun. Yeah, it is done. So if you go to the count, see here, there is one row for name is updated. So that easy is it. So if you want to analyze that only updates, you can just click here and you can see only the updates. You just want to see the added row, you can just see that added row then you want to know only the addresses how many are updated how many added and how many updated added deleted and updated you can do that okay this is this is giving only counts okay uh, so this this particular tab difference values this will show only the the data which is updated okay so i don't though this is helpful i personally suggest you to use the update difference all right that means it will show all the columns so let's just say um let's just take this employee and 005 okay i'll select this employee it will show the columns in the pivot pivot manner it will show the before value and after value and what did it what did it we do so for employee id uh, name address and business title there is no change only the change is in um, 
it's annual salary so this is visually very easy to identify okay so for this employee we have changed both um, business title and annual salary okay so it is very easy to identify even i have given different colors for delete row and uh, update rows and uh, you know added rows so it is very very um, easy to identify all we have to do is select the employee id and then it will show so see here this um these two and then if we select someone else only you know name is updated like that and this particular tab will show you only the the rows which are updated so what do i mean by that is let's just say 1004 1004 is not updated right so it won't show on this row at all in this tab at all so that way you know you are not uh, going through so many rows of data and lastly i have given one more uh, tab which is compare this is still in the tabular uh, format it will show added row uh, deleted rows and updated rows for added and deleted rows the data is coming from uh, you know in this case this is coming from the you know new data in this case this data is coming from the you know old data whereas for updated i have given both the old and new data so see here uh, i have added one right so there is a symbol not equal to here so i have added not equal to here this is equal to right so wherever it is not equal to i have highlighted in a different color so this is visually easy okay so the only thing with this tab is the only downside is this particular logic is derived equal to not equal to all the calculations are done on the power query level whereas the highlighting different colors is done on the excel level so that is the reason why these two are not going hand in hand all you may have to do is you have to come here once you refresh you have to come here go to home conditional formatting manage rules if this particular rule is not right all you have to do is delete this uh, delete this and give column a and column maybe z until whatever the columns you have okay so you have to copy you have to repeat the same step for all the rows this is the only downside with this I'm deleting this data. Again, click apply. Click OK. So this is the only thing. Okay. So uh, this is about the tool. Um, so this is the end of the presentation. I hope this will be helpful for you a lot in your careers. I hope you uh, tried this tool and then uh, I really hope that you are going to use this on a regular basis and save yourself a lot of time and save the team, uh, entire team or your business users a lot of time. Okay, uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye.